as I was saying, this is definitely going to be a, a part two because I had a feeling that, that this was going to be a part two, honestly. Like, um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so like nowadays, like I'm, I'm willing to risk, and I feel like me being able to risk whenever I actually made that risk and made profit based off of that risk, it paid out three, four, five times, which means that now I have cushion. Me having cushion now means that I can take more risk, but also, you know, be a little bit more open with how, I, how I'm investing my, investing my money in this, how much volume I'm actually adding per order and all these things. The person that's willing, to, that's frugal or not willing to risk, they're not going to be in shit like this. They're not going to be able to afford the lifestyle that they dream of and that kind of stuff. Risking 1%. Risking 1%. You don't want to... You, you don't really want to be an investor. You you kind of want to be an investor. You kind of want the lifestyle. You kind of want the success and that kind of stuff. You kind of want everything. If you're risking 1%. That's my take on it. If a person is risking 1%, they just kind of want it. They don't really want it. A person that's willing to risk, they want that shit. Listen, I'm going to study my ass off for, for this amount of time, blah, blah, blah. Like, make sure that I comprehend the level of comprehension that I need to pretty much, you know, trade effectively. And from there, I'm risking. I'm risking. Why? Because I'm risking because of this. I'm risking because um, I had, you know, other income sources coming in. If I fuck up, all right, cool. I got to probably wait like about two weeks, but I'm going to fund that on that account again and study for the meantime while I'm building up that money to trade again, which means that I'll bust my ass for two, three weeks and everything else, invest in an account throughout that entire time. I'm making sure that I'm studying. So like by the time that I have the capital and that kind of stuff to invest again, I'm on my shit and then I'm risking from that point. So like, let's say now I build it up to the point that I can now invest $5,000. Like the torch that I'm doing like right now in, in three days, it's up almost like $15,000. $15,000. So now I tripled the account in a couple of days. A person that's willing, that's not willing to risk more than 1%, they're not doing that. They're not seeing major life changes. And this is the craziest thing. Like I, I, I was driving here. The person that is risking 1%, the person that told them to risk 1% doesn't really have much going on. Thousand percent, thousand percent. The person that is telling the person that's doing 1% to only risk 1%, they don't have much going on. I doubt they have a lifestyle that you you crave to have. And this, and this is the wild thing. The person that told that person to do 1%, they're not doing 1%. The person, the, the initial person that told the person that told you to do 1%, they're not trading 1%. That's if they are at a, a point that they could do like what they want. They got money coming in, money is like, like, the person that is doing a lot when it comes to the investing game, they're not risking just 1%. They're risking 10%, 20% at times, at times even 30%. But the risk to reward is there. You know what I'm saying? That's why like the question that I asked this morning, I said, is it bad risk management if I lose twenty thousand dollars on a trade. It's only you can only answer that question if you have that one factor, that that one variable, which is what is the account balance. If you do not know the account balance, you cannot say many things. You cannot say bad bad risk management, over leverage. You cannot say a person is over leveraged or bad risk management if you do not know their balance of their account. If that is a missing variable, you cannot answer anything else. Because that's the main factor. That is the main factor. The main factor, like right there. If that's missing, then you can't say anything. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like, you have to pretty much get to a point that um, you just understand these dynamics of trading. Because once you once you do, I feel like you'll be a bit more open with, you know, being open to a, a certain amount to risk. You know what I'm saying? Even risking 5%, 10%. Honestly, like that shit fucking, it makes life changes when it comes to making the money. I'm saying like, if I'm risking $20,000, then more than likely I'm I'm 
expecting to make like 50K, 60K, 70K off that trade. More than likely. Which means that if I'm doing a two lot on US 30, okay, I'm risking what? 20,000, right? But I'm, I'm projecting myself to make on that one order triple times the amount or even four times the amount. And like once I actually hit for that three or four times the amount, now I have all this fucking cushion 60k 70k in cushion which means that now even if i if i lose one trade after that i'm still up like fifty thousand dollars you know what i'm saying even even if i wanted to up the lot size to three lots okay i'm risking thirty thousand but now i could still be up forty thousand dollars and but now what if i had that same three lot i'm risking the thirty thousand but now i end up making like seventy thousand dollars on that same three lot that's how that's how you fucking grow inside this, this, this fucking game, I feel like, man. And if you're not doing that, a lot of times you see super slow progress to the point that it doesn't even matter. Super slow progress to the point that it gets annoying because you fucking see this person on this side, like, they, on, they, on, they've been doing so-and-so, and now, now all of a sudden they're making life-changing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be simple things like, you know, getting a brand new phone, getting a brand new car, getting a brand new house, getting a brand new apartment, getting, you start seeing changes, life changes, not just a couple hundred dollars in your pocket. No, you start seeing fucking changes when you start being open to risk. Obviously you have to be at a certain skill level and a certain comprehension level to actually be able to do this, but you should be striving to get to the point that you, that the comprehension is, is there. Versus just getting to the point that you have capital to just risk. The main thing is literally is literally comprehension. Once that is there, you could pretty much risk, but not risk. As far as you're risking so and so, but pretty much your comprehension is so on point that that risk is is calculated. Everything is calculated. You have a high chance of making this investment work now. Now, if that one trade works, now you have triple the amount to to play with now now you have cushion the main goal inside this entire thing is cushion 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 if i if i have a 10k account all of a sudden i grow to like hundred and twenty thousand dollars, and i lose 40k me from me just trying to up my lot size to, to, to um, risk for this upcoming trade that i i see potentially happening i lose 40k from from the 120 i'm, I'm still good I'm still good. I have 80K. Cool. I can still make a major comeback. Major comeback. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember I had to, did um, one trade. Um, I was, uh, I think my account balance was like one 150. I was negative, like, it was a sloppy entry, sloppy, a lot of stuff, but I was negative like 80,000 from like the, the um, 160. But I was so fucking confident. I was like, yo, listen, like, it's taking longer than, than I expected, but yo, this is gonna fucking play out. Like I, like I calculated everything, I analyzed everything. Like I read, you know, like I did my fucking research, I did my technical analysis, I, I did my analytics, and I and I made one seventy six on that trade right there. You know what I'm saying? I made one hundred and seventy six thousand dollars on that trade. That's a hundred and seventy six thousand dollar trade that I have on YouTube that you that you can check out that I made on US thirty. Fucking incredible, incredible trade. Because I was willing to risk. Because once I'm willing to risk, bro, the outcome, that's what it's about. If I fuck up, cool. I go on like a two, three week um, hiatus, just fucking grinding out those next couple weeks that I get to a point that I could pretty much, you know, be on point like how I want to again to, to reinvest and that kind of shit. But while I'm waiting to reinvest, I'm busting my ass, fucking grinding, studying, doing everything that I got to do. But when it comes to investing, I'm willing to risk because of that payout, that's where it gets life-changing. That's where it gets life-changing, you know what I'm saying? So small account, big account, small account is where it fucking, where the skill is is made. The, the small account makes the skill. The big accounts maintain the skill. Put it that way, all right? So this right here has been a Q-Tip Fridays, part one and part two, the longest Q-Tips I've ever done yet. So I'm gonna holler at you guys on the next one. Time's almost up. Put the feedback in the comments and I appreciate the feedback, every single one of them. And I'm gonna holler at you guys till next week, future Fridays. Peace.